Hello crafters and welcome to Spring into Sandown online craft show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. I'm your host Wendy Stewart, lover of all things paper craft, addicted to all things paper craft and art journaling at the moment and stamp, stamping and card making is my go-to right this moment, trying to get organized for Christmas. So Spring into Sandown is going to include demonstrations and interviews with our amazing retailers and talented guests and we're beaming right into your craft rooms, your living rooms, wherever you're watching from and we're so happy to have you here with us. All of the details of the past sessions and upcoming sessions can be found over on the Picture to Page website, which is from picture to page and beyond.com.au. So please go and visit. And while you're there, you can get all the online show details of, you know, past sessions, what's coming up, and you'll be able to get all the replays there as well. While you're there, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter so that you are the first to know about everything happening in the picture to page and beyond papercraft world. So please make sure you sign up so you don't miss out on anything. So now whether you're watching live with us right here on Facebook right now or a replay on Facebook or YouTube or on the website, we are just so delighted to have you here. So let me say hello to a few people. Hi Deb, hi Samantha, hi Brenda, hi Elva, hi Nicole. Um, and yeah, it's just hi Jenny Lombardo, hi everybody. Sorry, can't go through that whole list, but you know, hello everyone. Hi Haley, lovely to have you all here with us. So you know, please give us a like, give us a comment. If there's any questions, please ask in the comment section, and our amazing guest or myself, or we will go back and answer them for you. We'll answer them live, or we'll go back and answer them for you. So I am absolutely del to delighted to welcome to Spring into Sandown the one and only Michelle from Snazzy Scrapping. So please let me bring Michelle on. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Wendy. How are you going? I'm really good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Hi, everyone. Hi. I think you've got a very big day because, you know, Michelle hasn't even given us sneak peeks of anything that she's about to show us or release today. So I'm certainly excited because she always has great things to show us. So, um, Michelle, I'm just in right. case people are new to our show and to Snazzy Scrapping, could you tell them, tell them really briefly about the wonderful Snazzy Scrapping? This is briefly, Wendy. Briefly. No, Michelle, done. briefly. Yeah, same time. Okay. Shopping Dubbo almost 17 years, have my own website now, have great um, sister that does a lot of my graphic work. I design the own creator card um, sets and I've got a lady that um, draws for me for the stamp sets called Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I have three beautiful girls on our design team um, called Nicole, Sharon and Hayley. Hello to you all. Hi, ladies. And... Um, and a hubby named Dave who who helps me behind the scenes and yeah, and that's about it. Yeah, so and it's it's really it's really awesome to have that support around us, you know, at all times, but especially so in these times. And you know, I know you've kept all of us going, and we're just going to craft our way out of this. So we're not going to waste any time because I know you have a lot to show us. I'm going to give you yep. a moment to swap over your camera, and we'll get going. So I hope you're all excited because I know Michelle's got a whole bunch of stuff to show us. Um, she's got three new creator card sets, two creator gift sets, and um, she's got other stuff to show us. So as soon as she's ready and gives me a thumbs up, I will hand over to Michelle. So, yep, here we go. All right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about yes. is the... Nazi Scrappin has been approved as a creative kids provider here in New South Wales. Oh, so okay. What that means, I don't know whether you have the active kids no, program. No, we don't, Michelle. So could you tell us a little bit about it, please? So through Service New South Wales, which is like our RMS, um, I think you, your roads are maritime service, um, they issue each child between four and a half and 18 a $100 voucher each year. Oh, wow. And they can spend that on craft supplies. Now, um, I had to jump through hoops to get accepted for this program. I was a bit taken back because right. I'm a teacher by trade and I had all the – I met all the criteria, but it took nearly three months. But that um, gave Dave and I a bit of time to create the kits. How and wonderful. They all come with um, colour instructions plus a link to a um, video on my YouTube and also on the kit description on the website. So if you went onto the website, there's this um, blue ball um, on the website okay. that says Creative Kits and you just click on that. And we have uh, – this is our mixed media kit, um, Unicorns, of course. 
Um, the lovely Jan um, did this sample for me. Um, Stunning. And it's using, this one's not attached, it's using serviettes and you get um, $100 worth of supplies Wonderful. and free stitch. And uh, it uses the creative expression airless misters, which are great for kids because they, you can hold them at any angle and they'll spray okay, and yes. they'll pop. So, but I just wanted to show you, um, this is one of our other kits. I'll just do it sideways because I'm worried about that. So yeah, this is our um, masterful Mandela, it's a Spectrum Nor kit. Oh, beautiful. Um, that you get the markers with and um, you also get the Nouveau um, watercolour pencils yes. and palette paints and airbrush and everything. So that's just one I put together. I, there's not a lot of thinking about that one. No, but it's beautiful, but Michelle. This is one of our, um, this is our blending background one. So Nicole helped me with the background. So they get enough to make 20 cards. Yes. And all the all the they get the distress oxides and the brushes and the ink pad and all the mats are already cut because it's for kids yes uh, technically and um, so they're all cut to size perfectly and everything and they get the instructions with that one so that's our blending backgrounds you can get that one in uh, berries or african animals oh great and then this is just one of our stamping fun. We've got lots of stamping fun kits that um, I've made this little one with oh, the wobble. That's, oh, that's gorgeous. So this is our cars kit. So you get the choice of um, two cars. You also get this little stamp set as well. The cars are stamp and dies. You yes. get the car sayings. Um, you get your stamp and your cards and envelopes. You get extra mats. You get your 20 mats. You get the VersaFine Clair ink pad, which is the best one to do a larger stamp. Yes. Um, tape, and then these lovely smelly Mr. Sketch Markers. Oh, gorgeous. They're perfect for kids because they don't run out. That's fantastic. And yeah. Carol's saying it's a truly thoughtful and encouraging offer for our younger people. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. So these ones are the sticks markers they're small they're a small marker but i do have the chisel one for any kids with disabilities yes. or um don't have great fine motor but um they can when i look at the age of what comes through yeah and then sure. i do have one we have serviette cards and and 3d cards for girls and boys and all different wonderful. ones so what, a, what a wonderful initiative and it's so so great that you can be part of it michelle that's wonderful now, I just wanted to um, thank everybody. Our last creator cards yes. um, were the split panel cards. Oh, absolutely. That, that one. And the um, corner pop-up cards. Yes. So I just wanted, this was it flat. One lady asked, could it fit in an envelope? So that's not oh, um, right. yes. Done. I am getting some little, one of my customers had these little Velcro dots. Okay. Um, that you could put there and i'm actually oh, right. got something okay. sure. so i just wanted to know if they wanted something that um can come apart rather than a magnet yes i have those velcro dots on order so that's um i just wanted to thank everybody for buying those sets because they were very very well received oh that's as, awesome as well as our christmas range i'm thinking there might be some people that haven't seen these yeah for sure um, I forgot to send Nicole's samples back, so I'm just going to show you. That's with our rocker card die set. And um, she's used a wobbler as well on Santa yeah, there. Fantastic. But, um, we've got the little dog and everything, but I'd like to thank everybody for um, purchasing those too because that was wonderful. Oh, that's and fantastic, that. Michelle, and they're really brilliant sets, so, you know. Okay, so this is the first creator card thing. Now, first of all, I want to remind people that they still have time to buy the little um, back die oh, for Halloween. Yes. Halloween's coming up, so yes, yes, um, yes. don't forget. I still haven't cut out. I've cut out about thirty, but I'm I'm seeing if I'm going to run out of time. Right. I do. I have bought some spider rings and some um, princess rings and that to go okay. in with the lollies. Yes. So that'll be that's on my list next list to do, but I've got two weeks, so I'm thinking I'll have enough time. Um, okay, so this is our first create a gift, and it is a lollipop holder. So this is the first of your new releases for this year. Yep. For for so, I mean, sorry for this time. 
So yeah. So last year we released the Rudolph. Yes. I take a lollipop out of that because I, I didn't have. It. So this year we're releasing this um, oh, Christmas cute. tree one. Is very cute and it has a separate star, so you can oh, just brilliant. cut it in a different color. Yep, so that's our our first release. I'm thinking um, this will be good because people can sort of mix and match them. And Definitely, a lot of people, Michelle. Well, a lot of people did them last year as um, gifts for kids at school because you can you will get two of these in an A4 sheet. Right. Or, okay. Good to know. Or three in a twelve by twelve. So. Okay. You know, if you're only paying a dollar for your cardstock, well, that's about thirty-three cents each. Yes, pretty cheap. And I've put just put some diamantes, and I've um, stamped with our mini sentiment stamp set. Except I can you see that I've I didn't use the wow embossing powder. I used I think it was Ranger. And can you see the little bits on there? Because that doesn't happen with wow. Ah, it, okay. It's, it's anti-static, so you don't need the pillow. Right, right, okay. And you get a really clear, crisp stamp every okay. time. So I was just a bit um, flat chat and thought, oh, howdy doody, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> well, good to know, good to know, Michelle. Yeah. Okay, so this is um, my next creator gift. So oh, this, that's this, fabulous. This is a bonbon die. So... It's four sections. You can't, couldn't do it any wider than that because I have to be really conscientious that it's going to fit in a cuddle bug and a big shot. Right. Okay. Um, yes. And so, I, it's actually designed that you did it as a triangle. So you could actually have that as your place setting as well and put somebody's name on it if you wanted to. Yes. But what I did with this one, I just scored. Um, I'll just take that out. I just scored it about half a centimetre um, with my scoring board. Yes. So I made it virtually almost a square. But I didn't put that score line on the die. Um, so you've got to do that manually yourself if you wanted, want to. Okay. But, um, Hayley was lucky enough. We caught up on Wednesday. She did a click and collect um, as she was in Dubbo and she's made some lovely samples and um, uh, she'll put her photos up in the VIP group as well. Great. Mine were just quick and... and I, um, I think they're beautiful, Michelle. I think they're absolutely okay. beautiful. Okay. Now, this this is my first um, creator card set that I'm releasing today. Now, this is a bit of a... Um, my dad used to make cards like this with us. Okay. So this was... And the YouTube videos um, that I've loaded onto YouTube will start coming on at half past one. So they're Thank scheduled. You. Um, to come on today. Yes. So this is a creator card pop-out spinner card. So I've got two hidden under here. So I want to show you I've done this one um, first using our Blue Meadow um, paper pack. Yes. That one. Yes. Because it has the frame. See the frame there? I've used that on okay. the front. Yes. Okay. Now you're ready for the effect? I am. Okay. So you open it. And it spins. Wow. So, uh, in the video, I will. I actually explain because when I made the first one, I'll show you it in a minute. It doesn't work as well. I it didn't work, and I was really frustrated. And I couldn't remember how Dad did it. Okay. And I actually had to. I went to sleep that night, and I I just remembered the next day how he'd done it. Oh, fantastic! So I put in detail how to do it um, because you have to make sure this strings days extra tight so I've actually done it step by step in the YouTube tutorial okay uh, you can't just stick it on the back because it'll it'll wear out yeah, you've absolutely. got to yes. loop it back and loop it back and then it works so then when you wind it up I do it about 10 times oh, so that that's beautiful that one. and this one is the heart oh, and see that is just I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna show you see that yes it's on there that's why I didn't do it uh, right okay so okay. in this set I'm just going to show you Thank in the you. set okay I'll just take out the photo I like to put a photo in there so people can know which set yep. it is yep 
Okay, so you get the inside die. So you don't get the card, the card die. It's just an A5 card. Piece of card, see, yes. Uh, yep, folded in half. I actually cut this one a little bit longer though, so I'd have more room here, but yep. it still fits in a C6 envelope. Michelle, would you so, be able to just grab that card again, please? Because I know there's two little butterflies there, but if you could yep. just bring it a little closer up to your camera, because people might not have seen them. I should have put a... No, no, it's okay. The, just so everyone knows, paper. there's two little gorgeous butterflies where Michelle yep. is holding, so... Yeah. Thank so, you, Michelle. No, no, that's but, fine. Thank you. Do you know, when I took the photo of them, you'll notice, see how I've taken the photo and you can see them? Yes. I actually, because I cut out a blue card, didn't I? And then <laughs> I put the butterflies in blue and then I realised you couldn't see them when I was taking the photo. So mm. I just slipped in a piece of white card. So I was going to actually do another one with a white background yes. and this piece coloured yes. and then white and then coloured, but I ran out of time, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's all so, right. Thank you, Hayley, for letting us know about that. I could see them, but, you know, I wasn't sure if everyone else could. Please so please continue, Michelle, sorry. You get the pop-out, and then, so that's your pop-out feature. Yes. And then you get the mat that um, does, that decorates that. Both of those, yes, you those get, sides. You get the scalloped um, circle, circle, which you could yeah. even use on the front yes. if you want for a thing and then you get all these little pieces that you can use that all fit inside the circle so um there's all different that's one for you to do a sentiment so you've oh, got a yes yes box. yes if you wanted to I write see, yes. a little sentiment, and then you have your little butterfly right yes yeah so you've got a one two three four five six seven eight nine piece die that's set. fantastic that's yeah and that so that's the first one it's $27 they're all $27 yes they, yes, they are right. yeah so well not the early ones so they were 25 no, no, but no. Um, I've, I've put as I've gone along I put more um uh dice in each set yes um, just to make it a little bit more um what do you call it uh you just, know. just to make it more versatile and give us more ideas uh -huh. and spoil yes. us a little more Michelle and this one I used our Bohemian. I every time I use this paper range, I always use the unicorns, and I've never used the <laughs> um, use the lovely dream catchers. So that's why I decided to use the dream catchers. Actually, in this one, I used three hundred GSM in that one, um, okay. and then I actually used. Uh, 250 in this one. Oh, right. I thought okay. the 250 was a little bit better, I thought, okay. than that than the 300. And that, so that's just a little thing about that one. Okay, so this is my next set. Gee, I'm going fast. You're going <laughs> run well. That's all right. So this is my next set, and this is a side step step fold oh, card. Oh wow. So, this one I've made with the Our Garden Affair pack. So this was actually a request from another lady. She asked me to do a sidestep one, but hers was just sort of plain on the okay. top. But my sister was pretty clever. She, I said to her, do, we'll do a fancy top on there and have a fancy. Oh, that is just beautiful. Top. And here's one I've made that's using the um, Card Maker's Dream pack. Beautiful. This pack of hair. Michelle, would you and like to just hold the cards a little closer to the camera, please? Yep. Is that better? Yep. Just a little lower, please. If you just come down a little bit. Yep. Perfect. No, just down yep. towards the table, maybe. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. And then that Thank this you. one's made with our gnome set. Yeah, gorgeous. so that's got the little gnome. So I'll show you what's in that set because yeah. you get options with this set. I like to always have options. We you should sure always do. Have <laughs> and, and do you know what the biggest thing worrying about is? What colour I'm going to do this because I have these oh. shelves that are colour-coded, see, and I like the colours to match the drawers. I understand. Of my yes so it was i was always going to do purple blue and orange this time or apricot and that so so that's your base die and i know that that seems really thin 
Okay, so some people, when I first started, uh, I think it was the diamond fold one. The first lot were quite right. thick and the diamond fold one came very thin. Yes. And I contacted Jack and I said, oh, Jack, it's too flimsy. It's too flimsy. Right. And it, it was my new manufacturer. And um, he went, oh, no, they'll have to do the, redo them again. And I said, well, let me just test it. And I find that if you've got a, a die like this, with the that's one with stitching, yes. but see it's got that thicker edge. Because it's not as flexible, if you cut out 100, say 100, yes. and I have, I have done dies where I've cut out 100, um, it'll start to bend right. and stay in that shape. Whereas these will go straight through the machine. They don't bend it. They don't stay out of shape. Right. They stay. They spring back into shape the whole time yes. and they'll never go out of shape. That's fantastic. So I get all mine done now as thin as possible. Love it. So because I don't get any complaints about it not going through the machine. No, no. And so you get so you get the base die. I'll put it on the white so you can see it. Thank you. Um you get this one that goes inside there. Gorgeous. So that's 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 that layer there. Yep. Then you get the oval that um, will fit inside, we'll fit inside there. there. Yes. Now these are the options. So you'll see the two cards that I've done. So you can either do the long die with the short rectangle. Yes. Or you can do the long rectangle with the short base oh, there. Oh wow. Okay, and then you get this little book plate um, die to put your um, little message on. Yeah, wonderful. That. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight die set, this one. That is so, just fabulous, Michelle. And and look, it's a, I know it's been done before. Like I know a lot of people make cards like that um, all the time. Yes. But, and they sit up beautifully, but this one's one that, it's just so easy, quick and easy to cut out. Absolutely. And, and you know, so many of us are so time poor as it comes to the end of the year that yes. you need something that you can sit down and, you know, make quick cards ready for Christmas or any occasion that you need. This one you need a 15 centimetre square envelope. Okay. That's the only um, downfall. Some people don't like using um, square envelopes yep. because they have double postage. Yep. But if you're doing it just as a gift, well, um, that's, it and um, yeah, and Nick actually um, suggested that you could put a pencil on here and have a little notepad there. Now, isn't As that a, a grand top, idea? Yeah, or your calendar. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, but anyway, they um, they are on the front of our website. If you go to the homepage on our website yes. and scroll down, yes, all the things are on there because we know you're having problem with the links. Yes, and, that's that's why we just you know. Um, just yeah. trying to protect you and us and everybody watching as well. So yeah. please go straight to the Snazzy Scrapping website and all the links to the dies are there and you'll be able to shop to your heart's content. And all of these, I using our jack paper on the roll, yep. Yep. I cut, um, I had it on the back of the cardstock before I cut it out and, of course, that makes it a sticker. You'll see in the video I, yes. I do that. And all so the how-to videos are on Snazzy Scrapping YouTube channel, so... You can go over there and watch and watch and you know stop it, rewatch till you know exactly what you need to do with the with the um, die set. So, okay, so this is my third one. This this was my. Can you say that you one can cause you a headache? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is our third one, and these are these fantastic spinner cards. Okay. Okay. So. I'm going to show you the samples that I made. Wow. So, and I've got to I've got to do it at an angle because I've got to get it weighted right. So oh my it, goodness, it, that is so gorgeous. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the pinwheel. Um, if you can see it that way, because I can't. I we can see to, Michelle. We can see just fine. Yeah. Thank you. This is the second one I made with the um, basketball and the basketball spins up oh, and down wow. and then this is the third one you could actually do this with a butterfly I think it would be yes, pretty good yes yeah so with this 
one, it's an 11 die set. So you get, and these, I really did these ones for, for you to do kids' cards with, like the basketball and that. Right, right, yes. We, we do sell that sports set, but I've actually used a piece of feature art paper that I've got on the website called Basketball with this one. And yes. That out. But um, now, with this one, with our V fold card, I based um, the base card in that is the same as a Kmart card, which is a little bit smaller than a A5, A5 yep. folded in half. Yep. So when I made my mat sets, I based it on a Kmart card, but these are based, these mats are based on an A5 folded in half. So if you use A5 cards folded in half. Brilliant. The two mats in these will be perfect for you to mat any yes. C-size card. Yes. So they they are just plain mats. There's no stitching or anything because I had a request for just plain mats with no stitching. Okay, I like that. So okay. You can double mat your card. Then you get the the die for the pinwheel and the little flower that the apricot flower there that I've used. So that's in that one and yes. that spins along there like anything. So, and then this little circle die. So I made this mechanism out of um, two five cent coins. Coins, yes. And uh, two of my little foam dots in the middle. We sell the wow. round foam dots. I cut them. You'll see in the video. And then you get this circle die that you can just cut out one and it does like a base for you to put the basketball on and you yes. to put the turtle on and things like that. So that's your mechanism that you use. Then um, Hayley's already done a few of these. She used our, with the wavy one, I was actually um, envisioning the wavy one as a boat okay. on the water. Okay, okay. She's done a tractor in the paddock. Oh, which looks fantastic. fantastic. And then this one, I was thinking a cloud on a rainbow or something oh, like that. Oh, yes. So this one, you could use it sideways on your card. I actually did it for slimline cards. Um, right. I've used these foam tapes with it because you'll see that it's upped with foam tape, like popped up. Yes. Um, now, you have to be – I've got two different um, thicknesses – widths of that because you have to be very careful see how close that is to the edge yes. um if your tape the side of your tape hits this it'll stick to it so you've just got to be very careful use the thin i use the thin one down the bottom there and then i use yeah. the thick one yes yes yeah. yeah so this one's good for slimline or you could have it going dropping down like there but you'd have to use the really thin tape in that corner. Understand, yes. And then that's the one I used on the um, pinwheel card. It's just a little oh, that's short fantastic, one. Fantastic, yes. And then the round one. And like I said, I used the turtle, but you could use a butterfly, it would be really cute. And then this is the one I used on the basketball, but you could use it like that as a mini. For sure, sort of for sure. If you wanted to. But it was mainly for ups and downs and Got it. things like that. But um, it's an 11 die set. That but is fantastic. While it was a headache, I sh I'll tell you why it was a headache. I shot the video right. Yes. And I got, and I got right to the end and I hadn't made this card because in the video oh, no. I show something that I've already made and then I make one up. Right. right? So I get to the end and I'm going like this. And I'm going, oh, look at it spin. And I'm going, why is it not spinning? Why is it not spinning? And, of course, hubby said to me, because you have to put the weight on it for the spin. So then I had to reshoot the video. So then I've ended up with two of these oh, cards. fantastic. Because I, I actually reshot it because it got, I said to him, oh, it got right to the end and then it wouldn't spin properly. And I went, well, it, it's supposed to spin like this in the video. And then I thought, no, I'm going to shoot it again because well, I like it just beautiful. means you have two beautiful cards, Michelle. Yes. Yeah, so that's all our releases for today. So we've got the spinner card. We've got the um, pop-out one that you wind that's up. That's just beautiful. And we've got uh, the sidestep fold. Stunning. Just stunning. Then we've got 
our bonbons, and they fit um, Ferrero Rocher's in them. So that's good to know. <laughs> even if you just wanted to give it as a little gift, you know what I mean, as a, a gift for somebody definitely, for Christmas. Definitely, definitely. And we've got our um, lollipop Christmas holder. Tree. Yeah. Michelle, but anyway. sorry, may I just ask, please, the Merry Christmas on the bonbon? Yes, that... that's our Merry Christmas three die. Okay, thank yeah. you, yes. And I've used our glitter paper, which um, I put jack paper on the back right. of first and then cut it out. Okay. Um, yeah, but it's Merry Christmas three, wonderful, that one. Wonderful, wonderful, yeah. thank you. Sorry I to interrupt, think... I just wanted to ask. So. No, that's all right. I used it on both of them. So I love that die because it's sort of a mixture of fonts and, and I've used it a lot on, on a lot of cards and I don't, Contrary to what people think, I don't have a lot in my personal stash. Fair so enough. So fair enough. I've only got a few things in my personal stash. I don't take from the stock from the shop. Yes, um, yes. Or for things. So I try to use Absolutely. things that I've already got. I suppose I probably should, so I, I'd be selling more. But anyway, yeah, yeah. so that's it, um, Wendy. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a moment just yeah. to turn your camera around and I'll come back to you. Wasn't that incredible? So many fantastic new releases for us to buy and enjoy and create. And I just think they're incredible. And my goodness, the mind just boggles as to what we can all do with all these things. And I think Michelle and her team have done a fabulous job bringing all of that to us. So let me bring Michelle back. Michelle, that was just fantastic. Thank you so much. There's a lot of love for all your new products and you and your team in the comments. So I hope you'll go back and have a look. Uh, I'm sh I will, Wendy, and, and um, I'll just direct people to my website if they want to buy things. They're all on the front page, yes. um, on the home page down the bottom. But um, also I'm giving a freebie as well. You know how I love freebies. So, so just generous. Put a, just put a hello in the comments. and But I'm doing that till Monday night, right. so it will finish Monday night. Um, I've, I've got a fair few uh, to give away. So... It's different from last time. I've ordered this in specially as well. So I think everybody will be, I thought it was about this big and they're actually this <laughs> so, And I don't yeah. suppose you're going to tell so, us what it is because you want it to be a surprise. Yes, I've got two different ones. Awesome, so, awesome. Um, no one will get, well, some people will get the same, but you'll get one or, or either. So, That's incredible. Yeah. You are incredibly generous to us, Michelle, incredibly generous. That's okay. And listen, um, I hope the whole weekend I've given you a plug in my VMP group Thank and you. another group. I mean, hope the whole weekend goes really well. It's sad we can't be there in person. But I know, I know. It's yeah, we would have loved to have all been together, but this is better this is better than having nothing. So Michelle, could you tell everyone about your VIP group, please, before we say goodbye? Yep, so on our – with my Facebook, um, Wendy will know that earlier on in the year uh, my Facebook got replicated yes. by twice in one week, um, which was very stressful because I was running competitions on my main page. Yes. Um, so I have a VIP group and I put regular things that I, I get in stock in that uh, VIP group. At the moment we've got um, two competitions running. We've got – uh, one to to um, guess the next colour of Tim Holtz, which he's revealing to, uh, well, Sunday morning at 3. I may be up, I don't know yet. I, I was up last time. Michelle. Um, and the person that collect, I'm a night owl. The person that um, guesses, uh, well, no one's ever guessed exact, but say it's a purple, um, which we all love. If there's seven people that guess purple, I just draw one out of the hat. So um, one person will win the new colour and I have them all, all on pre-order and oh, hopefully fantastic. they'll be coming uh, next week. From uh, I buy them through the darkroom door. And I also have one in there. We have a monthly challenge. And this month is you had to create something scary. And it didn't have to be using one of my products because I don't sell a lot of um, scary. So it was a free for all. But I will tell you that next month's challenge, which is November, which I know you'll be able to do that because it's using one of the freebies that I send out. So you need to create something with one I of the will. freebies. But um, every, every Saturday I have a competition and give away a stamp and die set. And tomorrow um, we that group is pinned on my main Snazzy yes, Stratton page. So um, you can go onto my main page and it should be pinned up the top. 
Um, yes, but everything that's in there, uh, no spammers can get in there. That's the... That, exactly the, right. And the main reason why I run the group and it's totally private, so yes. no one outside um, sees anything that's in there. But it's a lovely bunch it of... It is, uh, and it's free to join everybody. You've just got to go in. I think yeah. you might have to ask a question and then Michelle will let you in. And it's incredible demonstrations, you know, of all the skills of her great team. They post all the cards in there. It's a wonderful spot for inspiration. It's a very, very friendly, supportive group. And, you know, um, if, you, if, you get, if you get stuck with something, Michelle or her team are more than happy to help you. So I encourage yeah. everyone to please go to the Snazzy Scrapman website, have a look at all their amazing new products. You know you're going to, you know you're all going to click add to cart. So just go with yeah. it, you know. Um, and Michelle and her team will, you know, continue to inspire us and bring us all these new goodies. So, Michelle, was that your last? release for this year now oh, it is okay. when I tell you the real reason is I'm going to be divorced if I'm <laughs> well we can't have that we can't have if that you, if you could have seen my house at the start of the year and now my stock room is just overflowing and with these kits we we've done Dave and I have done up over 100 kits yeah. for that yeah. creative kids program so I'm I just decided I am going to step back Excellent. now and just have a little bit of a relax until the end of the year. I've already got in mind what my next creator card will be, but that um, at this time of the year, last time I, I came into a lot of problems because the manufacturers overseas, yes. Um, yes. they get so busy they don't want to do my little Correct. jobs of 100 Correct. tips. They, well, they I, want to do thousands and that, and I can't do that. Yeah. Well, it's been incredible having you join us again for this session. Yeah. We've, there's been a lot of love in the comments for you. Everyone has loved your new releases and, you know, I think they're going to be very, very popular with everyone. So, Michelle, I'm going to say goodbye to you now and thank you again for joining us and it was just wonderful to see all the amazing products that Snazzy Scrapping has for us. Thanks, Wendy, and bye, everyone. Bye. So wasn't that incredible? So many goodies to look at, so much to go and check out. So please go to the Snazzy Scrapping website, have a look at it all. Any questions, please contact them. Michelle and her team are only too happy to help you. So once again, this is Wendy Stewart signing off. It has been my absolute pleasure to host this session. Enjoy the rest of the show and I'll be back another session to host. So take care, everyone. Have a great day and happy crafting. <laughs>